friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a heart cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 4 plus or grade 5 let us observe this surgery by this time the main incision has been made this is a sideboard on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and this is another side port on the right side of the main incision about three clock hours away and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble tripan blue 0 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule and then little bit of adrenaline is injected to see if the people dilates little more and yes in this case the people dilated a little more with the help of adrenaline we can see a white area around the stained blue area and that much dilatation has occurred by the adrenaline and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is filled up with this visco and then a 26 case bent needle is used to incise the central area of the anterior capsule and a nice big capsular tag is raised like this. My aim is to do a large rexis, so I use a uterator forceps to hold this capsular tag, go anticlockwise close to the border of the dilated people, go all around and do a continuous cavilinear capsular rexis. But in this case, when I went to 9 o'clock, see here, it tended to go to periphery but with some smart pulls like this I could complete the CCC and now small aliquots of fluid is injected at multiple points the nucleus is tapped and mobilized and it rotates nicely and now 2% SPMC is injected again and then the tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 and since this is a hard cataract I am increasing the exposed part of the tip so that I can deliver more ultrasonic energy into the lens mass. In this case, I am going to demonstrate submarine chaff very clearly. Here the tip goes with its bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed, then the handpiece is turned and the bevel is made up. And then with the help of the chopper the nucleus is pushed little down the tip is buried totally into the substance of the nucleus and it goes through the substance like this totally buried and as it crosses the center reaches near the opposite equator the nucleus is divided in this way and now the nucleus is turned 180 degree and then the division is completed. Now each hemineucleus is again divided into two large fragments. Yes. And this is the other hemineucleus. It is also divided into two large fragments. Even for the heminucle the tip is buried into the lens mass and with very good purchase the 
hemineucleus is divided into two parts and now each nuclear fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy in this case the ultrasonic energy set is 80 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury each nuclear fragment is tilted in such a way that I can start emulsifying it starting from its sharp pointed apex so that this apex doesn't go behind and doesn't exert pointed pressure on the posterior capsule. This is the last quadrant. It is emulsified in the same way. At this time I remove the chopper. The antechamber becomes more stable and very safely the nucleus is emulsified. Now one small nuclear fragment is just in front of this left side port. We have to remove this nuclear piece first before doing anything else. So what I do is I inject visco and scort this small nuclear fragment out of the anterior chamber with the help of this Simco cannula. This is a 23G Simco. See how it is being used. Just the nuclear fragment has been escorted out. And now going through the side port, I remove the chunk, dislodge the chunk just in front of the main incision this is a chunk of epinucleus but it is degenerated almost hypermature sometimes we see this kind of degenerated epinuclear plates now visco has been used to push this epinucleus towards six o'clock now I go again, decrease the exposure at this time and I remain in FECO1 mode where the vacuum is only 50 millimeter of mercury and with this low vacuum I emulsify this epinucleus because I don't want to catch the posterior capsule. And now cortical cleanup has been done in this case with the help of this 23 gauze Simco cannula see how beautifully you can hold it and pull it you can look for it and you can brought you can bring the cortex to the center of the anterior chamber and remove it yes it can be done with coaxial IA or a bimanual IA whatever a surgeon is comfortable with he can use that this Simco is very thin and slender it's a 23 gauze Simco cannula and now this is hydro implantation the anti-chamber is kept formed by irrigating fluid and in this case a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens has been implanted in the capsular bag. The irrigating probe dials the lens. It keeps the antechamber formed and it dials the lens. So at this step we have been able to avoid viscoelastic substance. And now, at this time, the anterior chamber tended to become shallow, so I took help of this big air bubble to maintain the intraocular pressure. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now, the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. 
corneal stroma on either side of these sideboards are hydrated with the help of BSS using 27 gauge cannula and these sideboards close. And now again the 23 gauze Simco is used for the final lavage. At this time I direct a gentle stream of BSS towards the corneal endothelium through the aspirating port and remove whatever visco gets stuck to the corneal endothelium. And now the antechamber is nicely formed like this. And then in this case I used a little bit of moxifloxacin through the main incision. I'm going to show that. With the help of a 27 gauge cannula, the moxifloxacin is being injected to one side of the main wound like this. Yes, the antechamber is nicely formed. Intraocular pressure is actually on the higher side. One drop of SPMC has been placed over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to do heart cataracts. After nuclear division, please emulsify all the pieces at the central 3 mm safe zone in the anterior part of the capsula bag just below the iris plane. You will see that endothelial protection will be very good. Thank you once again for your attention.